an AMI-tv digital exclusive. I'm Grant Hardy, and this is Postcards from the Okanagan. Canadians love their coffee, and I'm certainly no exception. So when I heard about an independent roaster in Kelowna that made a great brew, I had to check them out. Uh, my name is Dave Upshaw, so I own Canoe Coffee Roasters. I uh, always was looking for something that was, was something that I could do for a living and something I was passionate about. And uh, I always got drawn back to coffee no matter what I was doing in life. I am super excited to be talking to you because I'm a fellow coffee enthusiast. I need my, you know, six cups a day before I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Um, wh why do you think you're passionate about coffee? Coffee is just something that kind of grounds me, something that, that starts my day and making a cup of coffee really slowly and doing it properly is, is really important to me. It mm. kind of sets my day straight. So set the uh, scene for us. What, what was the coffee like in, in Kelowna before uh, you started up uh, Canoe Coffee? Kelowna is a pretty small town. It's slowly growing, obviously. It's, I think it's one of the faster growing cities in, in BC. but. Uh, it's been really far behind in the coffee scene. We were 15 different Starbuckses, I think, in town. I couldn't find anything that suited my palate and what I liked to have every day. So I started roasting my own coffee at home. I, I had a, a barbecue that I had with a little stainless steel drum boat. I it fit about three pounds of coffee in it at a time. So I had it in my back shed at my, at my house and I would roast coffee in there fully manually, just using all my senses. I would smell when I thought it was ready. I would hear when I thought it was ready. I'd drop it out into the cooling tray and just my, sh my shed would fill with smoke. My neighbors probably thought I was crazy. <laughs> so, um, so I started roasting in there and then I, I needed somewhere to serve it. Um, I'm, my wife is really into kind of aesthetics and making things look pretty. And um, we actually saw an old camper trailer, a 1956 Shasta trailer, about two doors down from our house. And uh, we took that, we stripped it down, we turned it into a mobile cafe and we started pulling it to the farmer's market. Today, that mobile cafe is parked in front of Canoe Coffee's permanent cafe and roastery. It's the kind of small business success story that fills the region. Stream more original content using the AMI-tv app.